All right, let's talk about Sculptress and Performance. You may recognize this guy from my Gumroad and my Cube Brush Reptile Tutorial series. And I picked him out because he already has a bunch of detail on him, so we can go ahead and kind of rearrange his detail. So right now, if I Alt-Tap on his head, that's gonna select his head mesh, and this head mesh is 3.3 million active points. If we hover over the subtool, you're gonna see the number of polys appears to be the same. So even at this point, as long as we go down here to geometry and we do delete lower, we can use Sculptors Pro mode on this mesh. We can have our standard brush selected, turn on Sculptors Pro, and we can sculpt on this mesh just fine and tessellate and tessellate or tessellate the geometry as needed. So if I hold down shift and smooth, you're gonna see we can remove some of this detail. And then as we go back in here with say our Damien standard brush, we can add new or different detail as needed. Now what I might suggest doing is, if you go over here to our Z plugin menu, so if you don't have this side open, you can double click these double arrows, grab your Z plugin menu, the little white dot, drag it over, and open up Decimation Master submenu. And you can do it the usual way, you can say pre-process current, wait for it to pre-process, choose the number of polys or the percent of decimation you wanna do, and then hit Decimate Current, and then you can refine that. You'll also notice down here under Presets, you can choose from any one of these presets here. So right now, again, we're at 3.3 million polygons. I'm gonna drop this down to 250K. I'm just gonna hit that button. And you're gonna see at the top, it's analyzing the mesh. And like I mentioned before, Sculptures Pro is optimized for performance and you know maintains a nice reactive stroke as you're using it. However, unlike just sculpting in ZBrush, it has to actually evaluate your entire surface before you can lay down a brush stroke. So the more polygons you have, the less responsive your brush is gonna end up being. A lot of this is a performance hit on your CPU, so depending on your computer, you can start noticing a reduction in your quality at 200,000 triangles or up to as many as 4 million. We're gonna get into those preferences in a minute. Um, just so you can see what I'm running here. On the computer I'm running right now, I'm using an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, so I've got 16 core processors at 3.4 gigahertz, 128 gig of RAM. And I believe by default, my preferences, are, my preferences are set to a 5 million cap on using Sculptures Pro. But like I mentioned before, we'll get to that in just a second. So now that that's done, you're gonna see my point count has dropped to 250,000, down from three and a half million. We haven't lost any detail, it still looks the same. However, we have much less geometry. So now my strokes are gonna be a lot more responsive. You're gonna see when I use my Damien standard brush, it's a lot faster. So if we go ahead and close out the Z plugin, we grab our stroke menu and drag that over. If we have combine turned on, we can go ahead and use with our clay brush or our standard brush. We can add geometry as needed. We can make a large brush size and take away geometry as needed. Just like the uh, settings we went over earlier in the earlier videos in this series that went through and explained adaptive and combined. Now to reiterate, if you have combine turned off, so you're only adding geometry, you're not tessimating or decimating geometry per stroke. Uh, that'll also increase your performance. So you can see, you go through here and you can notice that your performance is increased because it's only having to do one operation. It's only having to add geometry. It's not having to do two by adding and removing at the same time, depending on the density underneath. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you have combined turn off, you're only adding geometry. So if I make my brush size very large, you're gonna see it's only deforming the underlying geometry. It's not deleting or making it less geometry. If you turn that back on, you're gonna see now we're actually getting rid of that geometry, like so. So combined turned off will increase your performance, but it'll also increase the number of polygons pretty quickly. You can see my point count up here is gonna be increasing every single stroke because all I'm doing is adding geometry. I'm not taking away any geometry. Now, if I hover over this head here, this subtool, you're gonna see that I'm at 591,000 polygons. So if I go into my preferences here and open up the mem area, you're gonna see there's a max sculptures polygons limit. Right now, it's set to five, that's five million. Again, if I hover over this, I'm at 591,000. So what I can do, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take this, and I'm gonna say 0.6. That's gonna drop me at a max polygon resolution of 600,000 polygons. So as I continue sculpting this, eventually it's gonna throw up a warning sign saying, hey, the mesh is composed of too many polygons. Sorry, you've hit your, your limit. So there's two things you can do here. Number one, you can go back up to your Z plugin. You can decimate it back down, maintaining all your detail, decimate it back down to a lower poly count and continue going. Or you can go into your preferences, go into your Max Sculptress polygons here, and I'll set this back to five. So we're back up to five million, which was the default. And now I can continue sculpting 
with Sculptures Mode turned on, and it's not going to yell at me until I hit 5 million. And you'll also notice I'm working on multiple subtools. I've got my head as a different subtool. If I alt tap these, I've got my horns and my scales and my body and my tongue and my teeth all as separate subtools. That's another way to help performance. If this was all one subtool, I would have already crossed my limit. You see my total points here is, and I hover over any of these, my total polygons is 6.2 million. So if I combined all of these and then tried to sculpt, it would say, hey, you're over your limit. So just by having these as separate subtools is allowing me to not have to worry so much about that upper limit of my polygon count with Sculptress Mode. Another thing to consider is with your brushes themselves, for example, H Polish, I have Sculptress Mode turned on and it's giving me this result. And if I turn Sculptress Mode off, it's still giving me that result. So the processing power on your H Polish probably isn't worth even having on. So consider having a version or resaving over your H Polish brush with Sculptress Mode turned off. You can go into the brush settings here, Sculptures Pro, turn off enable, and then you can go here to save as see, on a Windows machine, C, Program Files, Pixelogic, ZBrush 2018, Z Data, brush presets, find your H-Polish brush, double click that, that'll save over your H-Polish brush, so when you restart up, H-Polish will always have Sculptures Pro disabled. So that way you don't have to worry about using processing power on a brush that isn't really going to utilize it. Another thing that's been added to ZBrush 2018 is under Preferences, Undo History. We now have a reserved undo memory slider. You can see the default is at 0.25, which means that ZBrush is going to start deleting undos once the available amount of memory gets below uh, 0.25 of your total memory. So with my Max Sculptress polygon set at 5 and my reserved undo memory size set at 0.25, if you want to see what I'm running on my computer, you can see I'm using the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, 16 core processor, 3.4 gigahertz, and 128 gig of RAM. So once I get to 0.25 of my available memory left, it'll start deleting undos out of my stack. And with this Ryzen Threadripper processor, by default, my max Sculptures Polygons is set to 5 million, which is more than enough for me.